So far, we have gone through nine similarities between good notes and noteful. And nine ways noteful is better than good notes. That is why in this video, we'll be covering seven ways that make good notes better than noteful. Initially, this was supposed to be a three part series, but we have one more video after this one where we'll be comparing the flashcards in GoodNotes to the page layers in Noteful. We want to see which app is better for active recall. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Noteful released a massive update while we were working on this video. They just added their most requested feature, folders. This go above your tags. And now you can choose three ways to organize your notes, either with folders, with tags, or both. The app supports an infinite number of folders within folders, which note takers love. With that out of the way, let's get into the seven ways that make good notes better than noteful. If you want to use good notes on a Mac, you can easily do that. It's even better because good notes is a universal purchase. For $7.99, you access it on all your devices using the same Apple ID, of course. The Mac app looks and feels familiar, so you will not be struggling to find your way around it. Noteful, on the other hand, does not have a Mac OS version. Your best shot at getting one is on the M1 Macs because those can open and run iPad apps. GoodNotes is available on both your M1 and Intel Macs. Attachments make our notes fun and exciting. The more types of attachments you can add to your notes in a note-taking app, the better. In GoodNotes, you can also add web links, stickers, and scans to your notes, which Noteful does not. If you want to see what these two applications both add, we recommend watching the similarities we covered in part one of this series. We will have a link to that in the description down below. Web links are easy to spot in GoodNotes. You can open the link or copy to paste it into another app. Links are also easy to edit. Unfortunately, Noteful does not recognize web links whatsoever. Stickers in GoodNotes have become a thing since they were introduced a few years back. More exciting than the collection you get in the application is the ability to create your own stickers from images, handwritten notes, and text boxes. We can add elements that we frequently use to different collections or create our own if we want to do that. For frequently used items, it makes sense to save them for easy access. Noteful does not support stickers, so we hope to see that in the app. We do not recommend scanning documents into your notes using the iPad OS scanning engine. That is mostly because it creates huge files that are not even good scans. Should you find yourself needing to scan something quickly, it helps to have the feature in your note-taking app. At least you won't need to exit the application, scan something, then come back to import it as a PDF. It simply takes too much time to do that. And unfortunately, that is the only option we currently have in Noteful. The Zoom tool is a favorite amongst digital note takers. 
It can improve how your handwriting looks. And it's a way to add more information on a page. Something you can't do on paper, obviously. Besides that, it's better than zooming directly on pages because it's more stable and easier to set. Coupled with Auto Advance, it works wonders in good notes. With Notful, however, you're limited to zooming in on your notes. Sometimes the zoom you set for your pages tends to change when you rest your palm to write something. And obviously, because we wanted to recreate that for the video, we failed to do it. So, yeah. We hope our Notful developer can add a palm rest as well as a zoom tool to give us a way to lock on whatever zoom level we choose. Collaboration is a must have in 2022. Sadly, not a lot of applications have it. In GoodNotes, you can share a link to your notes to collaborate on them. Anyone with the link can open and modify those notes. You receive notifications each time someone makes some changes to your document. You can even comment on documents to start conversations and resolve different issues right within the app. However, during this recording, commenting is displaying an error message that we're currently looking into, but it's worked in the past. Notful does not have a collaboration feature, but we look forward to seeing it in iPadOS 16 since Apple has laid the necessary foundation for developers to add collaboration and link sharing options to their apps. Optical Character Recognition, OCR, in a note-taking app allows you to search through your handwritten notes and scan documents. Searching your handwriting eases your work and it's a shame we don't have this feature in Noteful. You can also convert your handwriting to text in about 13 languages in GoodNotes. Copying and pasting your conversion in the application is not fun, but at least we have the feature. If handwriting conversion is a main feature or a main part of your work, we recommend trying out Nebo. It's a better handwriting to text conversion app than GoodNotes. Just thought to mention it. Both applications, GoodNotes and Noteful, can search through your scans without a problem. GoodNotes has a better search tool than Noteful. Within the app, searching your notes organizes your search results into notes and outlines. Your results in Noteful are pretty simple. They don't really make things easier to find, but they could help. GoodNotes has an impressive universal search tool that searches all your documents in the application from your homepage. The app then groups your results to make it easier to find what you're looking for. So you can search through titles, handwritten notes, PDFs, outlines, and typed notes. So without needing to first open a document, you can find anything in the app from the homepage. Not for search tool is limited to notebook titles on the homepage. It does not search through the notebook's contents. Since the search tool is so limited in Noteful, we have covered how you can organize your notes to limit the need to search for anything in the application. We'll have a link to that video in the description down below. Compared to other note-taking apps on the market, GoodNotes has quite limited backup options. GoodNotes automatically backs up your notes to three cloud services, where Noteful only gives you one. You can also choose to back up your notes as both the good notes and PDF formats, but Noteful limits you to one format at a time. Both applications can exclude folders you don't want to back up, which is a cool feature to have. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the last part of the series, where we'll be comparing flashcards in GoodNotes against page layers for active recall in Noteful. 
If you've missed the first and second part of this series, we will have those links for you in the description down below. Let us know what other features you feel make GoodNotes a better app than Noteful. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.